Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are here on uh, this little project. Almost wrapping it up. Just kind of waiting on the fire to uh, get gone. I haven't been able to come down here as much as I, as much as I wanted to. I should have already had this job done, but things keep coming up. Uh, anyway, side the point. Today, we are going to do something fun. We are going to tear this bad dude out. Talk to the county supervisor. He said, uh, tear it out and do whatever you got to do to get across this ditch. Because apparently it is not a creek. It's not like a named creek or a continuous whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a ditch in here. Um, basically all the surrounding land around here flows right here. Uh, the neighbor that owns this part actually said that they actually got it uh not blocked off but i guess they just filled it in on up the way there so i don't think it's always flowing water i can tell it's not flowing anything out it's just it just catches runoff it's not actually flowing into anything so if a man wanted to cross the creek the, the supervisor like i said he said do whatever you got to do it's private property to get across it but anyway that's beside the point on what i'm doing today so we're going to tear out the beaver dam but I want to first check, I want to see just, see just how deep this is right here. Because I think it's actually pretty deep. But I'm going to stick the bucket off in there and uh, see how deep she is. nothing into the drone I'm trying to get a feel for it right now that's what I wanted right there I'm just gonna take everything and set it out right here Actually, two trees that fell over in this area. One I just drug out, and then uh, the other one. No. 
power. Trying to get a little bit better angle there. Let's just scoop her on out. tell you know kind of just how high that is well I can set my bucket there that thing is the thing is uh over half the depth of the bucket anyway she just nearly three feet tall right there said I know it's a little hard to, to tell how tall things are. But yeah. Alright, let's finish tearing her on out there. A lot of mud in that thing. I was wanting to try to leave that stump from that tree that was dying in there, but I'm afraid if I do that, it's just going to give them another place to try to anchor to again. have to leave that the rest of that log in there if I can't get it out because it's still in the ground on the other side I believe take some of this mud once the water goes down and see if I can't pack it back up around this uh, this bank right here I can't really see what's under me oh yeah a lot of water flowing now turn y'all around look downstream here Got the sensors turned off on the the uh, drone here to quit all the beeping. So I gotta be careful not to move around a whole lot, so I don't crash the thing.
Tell you what, I think I'm going to let that just ease on down for a minute uh, because I want to try to uh, I want to try to uh, fix this bank up and under me. I'm looking at the drone now and seeing what's under me right here. I can't really tell from where I'm sitting. What I think I want to try to do is when that water goes down, I'm going to take that mud and pack back up on the bank to kind of help help with erosion anyway. Uh, I'll just take and do it like that right there. I can't really see nothing up under me sitting in the cab, but I'm sitting here looking at the, I'm seeing what y'all are seeing on the screen here. Really need to get this. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Yeah, there she goes. I'll get that on out of here. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and watch the water go down and we shall be right back. Pretty much, uh, I mean, she's still flowing decent, uh, but it slowed down a lot. I'm gonna take this stuff, the rest of it, and I can see. Tell you what, that thing was uh, pretty deep. Dam was a lot higher than what it really looks like on camera. I guess y'all can tell how far I'm reaching over in there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach all the way. Well, it's gonna be close. I'm gonna take this stuff right here and just shove it up on this bank. See if I can't put it up in here. So I can't really see up under me. So I'm kind of using the drone screen Like right there where my bucket is, that's about as far as I can see up under me. It's amazing how much mud they had right up in here. This is really good sticky clay. Not trying to encourage them to build back at all but I don't want to also leave a I guess kind of a hole in the bank which I mean 
since. I'm only going to be able to do so much with it, I guess, but... No, uh, Dirt Perfect, Mike, they did a couple videos a while back, you know, removing beaver dams, and I never, I don't know if he ever did an update of kind of how they was, because I know he was wanting to do like two different, two or three different ways, you know, try to remove all the brush and get it away so the beavers won't get it right back and put it back in, but I don't really have nowhere to haul this stuff to or really get rid of it, but. I figure nothing in the creek right here, they'll be less likely to want to build in it. Especially now, everything's kind of gone. Yeah. I think that looks nice. All right, well, I'm going to uh, apply this thing, look up under me right here. Make sure I ain't gonna drop it down on nothing. I can't see, there we go. I can see it now. Ah, uh, there's still some, I need to get I need to get a few more of this trash out right here. I'm going to use the drone again to my advantage. I can't see nothing. There's one more right over here. I guess some guns way up under me. Well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave that one because I cannot see anything. That's good. Sit here and see how much water, how much more it drops down. I mean, it's dropped down a lot. Um, there's an old stump, old tree there. I don't know if it's attached to anything or got roots under it or not. If y'all can see where the water was, just dropped it a good uh, like I said it's hard to tell on camera depth and stuff but me sitting up here looking at it it's dropped it at least probably three or four feet y'all can see how high the how high the banks are compared to the excavator alright well I'll give you an update after a while well y'all this is a couple days after the beaver dam tear out and she is just about dry a lot of water holding back or was back up in there so i think he uh be a little, a little easier to get across the creek now so whatever he decides to do later on he said he called me uh later when he figure out if he wants to set a culvert in there or bridge it um i would definitely bridge it i think if it was me but finding a uh finding an old trailer not being used or uh a uh rail car frame something like that 
probably gonna be hard to find so anyway we're gonna call it good on this one uh, it was fun tearing that thing out hope y'all enjoyed it with the drone footage y'all let me know what you think uh, comment liking and all that stuff you know helps the channel so y'all help me push the videos i appreciate it y'all keep your eyes open i'll see you later